The Secret Life of Earthy the Worm, a bedtime story for kids. Today we have a book named The Secret Life of Earthy the Worm, a bedtime story for kids. I think they're so pretty. I hope you guys really enjoy it. I love it. Please give this video a like if you enjoy it, and don't forget to subscribe for more stories. Thank you, reading. So, here we go. Once upon a time, in a bustling garden where the sun smiled down upon all the creatures, there lived a curious and adventurous little worm named Earthy. With his bright, inquisitive eyes and soft earth-brown skin, Earthy loved to wriggle through the rich soil, exploring every nook and cranny he could find. The garden was full of wonders, but Earthy's favorite spot was right next to a radiant yellow dandelion named Daisy. Curious worm, bright eyes, brown skin, exploring garden next to radiant dandelion. Daisy the dandelion was wise and kind, her gentle smile warming every corner of the garden. When Earthy had questions about the world above or needed advice on where to find the juiciest leaves, Daisy was always there to help with a laugh like a soft breeze through the leaves. Earthy, she'd say with her soothing voice, the world is full of mysteries for those who look closely. One sunny morning, as dewdrops glittered like tiny diamonds on Daisy's petals, Earthy popped his head out of the ground with his usual big grin smeared across his face. Good morning, Daisy, he chirped excitedly. I heard there's a new flower blooming on the other side of the garden. I want to go see it. Before Daisy could respond to Earthy's enthusiastic plan, a buzz filled the air as Buzzy the bee flew in circles above them. Buzzy was a busy little bee, with a fuzzy yellow and black striped body and delicate wings that fluttered in constant excitement. Good morning, friends, she greeted them in her high-pitched buzz. Good morning, Buzzy, replied Daisy warmly. Earthy here wants to venture across the garden today. So Buzzy landed on one of Daisy's petals, gently swaying from side to side, as if dancing with joy at the thought of adventure. Oh, that sounds marvelous. Can I join you? she asked eagerly. The trio set off together through patches of clover and blades of tall grass that swayed like green towers around them. They chattered and laughed as they went along their merry way, sharing stories about their days and dreaming up tales about what lay beyond their familiar surroundings. As they ventured further than Earthy had ever been before, they stumbled upon an enchanting sight. Hundreds of butterflies were fluttering around a bed of vibrant wildflowers that painted the air with their sweet fragrance. Earthy wiggled closer while Buzzy zigzagged between flowers collecting nectar. It wasn't long before they reached their destination, a beautiful bloom that stood out amongst all others with its velvety purple petals reaching out towards the sky as if kissing it hello every day anew a rare lavender lily that none had seen in this part of the garden before. Look at this beauty, exclaimed Earthy in awe while looking up at it from his tiny perspective on the ground below. Daisy nodded softly, wisdom gleaming in her eyes as she spoke tenderly. Every flower has its time to shine brightly under heaven's gaze. This one waited patiently for its turn. They spent what felt like forever admiring nature's masterpiece until Buzzy reminded them pleasantly, It's getting late. We should buzz back home else. We'll miss our bedtime stories under starlight. With hearts full of new memories and minds teeming with fresh dreams, inspired by their journey across fields afar, our intrepid adventurers made their way back home where warm beds awaited each small head, ready now for dreamland ahead, after such eventful day indeed. The End Good job, friends. Thank you so much for reading with me. Bye, I'll see you next time.